welcome to my channel. I know it's been ages since I've posted any videos and I am so sorry, but um, my work schedule changed so I didn't have the availability to, um, to record like I did previously. And um, I also started selling Color Street nail strips in November. So I was kind of focused on that as well. So I didn't stop planning, I just stopped doing videos and posting on my blog. So I'm trying to get back into that as well. Um, I don't post on Instagram as much as I did either. But I will, I plan to get back into that as well. Trying to get into kind of a, a new normal. Um, right now with the virus going on, I think everybody is trying to find a new normal. I am an essential employee and also a homebody, so all of this hasn't affected me a whole lot other than I do miss going to the craft stores. So um, in this video, I wanted to share with you, um, do a walk through through my farmhouse planner. Uh, this was my very favorite planner. Um, I know a lot of others really liked this planner as well because it was so neutral. So I was really happy that they came out with a neutral planner that starts in July of this year. So we will, because this one went from July of 2018 to December of 2019. And I used it every single month and was very disappointed that I didn't have a neutral planner to start with in January. I've been using the Squad Life sticker book or um, planner and um, I do like it but I don't love it um, because it has too much decoration in it for me to be able to do my own spread so this one So this, like I said, this one started in July of 2018, and I had started planning, goodness, I don't remember if I started planning in April of 2018 or April of 2017. I can't remember. Um, but these date dots were, were part of a kit from Plan to Plan. These other stickers um, were from various um, Happy Planner sticker books. The little balloons were also from Plan to Plan. I love ordering Etsy stickers, but um, and I have a few favorite shops. And if you go to my blog, IndianaInker.com, I have a list of my favorite sticker shops on there. I don't sell anything through that blog I don't have um, there's no ads nothing it's just my personal craft blog that you can scroll through um, I've had it for about 10 years and I have basically just post my craft projects on there I have a few other things home improvements and and things as well but most mostly craft projects this was July I must have missed did I miss a week no, I must have um, used another planner for the first couple of weeks of, oh, nope, this is the end of June. Okay, June 25th through July 1st. I was going to say, I thought I started with this the very first week. And this planner I use to plan what actually happened last week. So over the weekend, I will plan for what happened during the week. So it's kind of like a memory planner, but without pictures. And like I said, I love um, ordering from Etsy sticker shops. And a lot of these posts that um, I have posted on my blog, I also list um, the sticker shops that these stickers came from. And of course, some of them, They've retired the stickers by now, I'm sure, but, and I've not been doing that in my, my most recent 
posts. These um, headers were part of the kit that came with the date dots from Plan to Plan. These, I believe, came from Brienne and Nicole Designs. She's another one of my favorite shops. All the bright colors. And this style of planner, I tend to have trouble figuring out what to do in the sidebar a lot of times. So a lot of times it stayed blank. And I love the Wacky Holidays, so I did some of those in here. But I also did, last year, I did a Wacky Holidays planner, which um, I will do a flip through of that as well. That's on my list of videos to do this week. This was a Bumblebee spread. And I believe I got this kit from Cheerful Planner Girl. But like I said, if you go to my blog, indianainker.com, and go to the, to the posts, you'll be able to, um, I've listed the sticker shops. This is August, the donut theme. This week I had some home improvements done, so it was um, more focused around um, the home improvements that I was having done. This I just took cardstock and made my own um, my own sticker box to um, so that I could get more information on there. And I'm not real happy with my writing. That's something I definitely need to to work on. My penmanship is not that great. It would probably be better if I would slow down. Oops. Sorry about that. This are the girl stickers from um, Paper Studio Hobby Lobby line. And these were scrapbook paper that I just used my punch for. Did a monkey spread. These are also Paper Studio stickers from Hobby Lobby. A ladybug theme. I've not been doing themes lately. I need to get back into that. These were fun. This was we just kind of stayed stayed around in town that week when we were on vacation. We went to the zoo about an hour and a half away. We hit some craft stores in other towns. And I don't ever do the currently pages. My life's pretty boring for the most part. I'm not a reader, I don't watch much TV. This I did fall theme, and these are um, came from Plan to Plan, I believe. Did a flamingo theme. This one was a rainbow theme. So like most people, I have my own planning style, and it's um, definitely nothing like um, most of the YouTubers that you probably watch. So that was a pink, a pink week. This one I did an orange week. And I don't typically do plan with me's just because that's my me time. 
with working 40 hours a week, um, I just, and I'm not a huge fan of my job. I'm very grateful for my job, especially now that it's considered essential. Um, but um, not not really a, a big fan of it. So um, my planning time is my me time. And um, so it's just, I just prefer to do it off camera. And it takes me a while to figure out how I'm going to lay things out and what stickers I'm going to use. And so my videos would end up being too long or way too time consuming to edit. This one I did a fall theme and I um, believe I used a kit from Brienne and Nicole Designs. Another fall week. And a lot of these were from that same kit. This one, I did a teal and gold. And if nothing else, this video may give you an idea of different themes that you could do that maybe you hadn't thought of. These date dots were also from Plan to Plan. This one I did a split theme. So this one I did Halloween, obviously. This side I did a birthday theme. So we have um, my youngest grandson's birthday and my daughter-in-law's birthday on November 2nd. And um, my middle granddaughter's birthday on the 3rd. So November is a busy month. Um, we didn't have any birthdays in November until my oldest daughter had her children, and all three of her children's birthdays are in November. My youngest, or my, yeah, my youngest daughter, her son's birthday is in December, and then she's expecting her second little boy in June, so I am anxious for his arrival. Then I have a step-granddaughter, her birthday is in May. And this I did kind of a donut theme. This one I used more of that fall kit that I used a few weeks ago. So her kits are definitely worth the money. And she has her shop on sale 50% off a lot. She doesn't ship real quickly, but um, She's got good prices and good quality stickers. And I received a sticker order from her that day. And I love Arby's Jamocha Shakes. The black and gold theme. You watch this video completely through um, in the comments let me know which spreads were your favorites or if there were themes that that I did that you hadn't thought about or that you wouldn't have put together but like the way that it turned out to the Christmas theme that's also a kit from Brianna. I love the kit, but not real happy with the way I laid it out in that one. Then a penguin theme. My youngest daughter loves penguins. And her son's birthday was on the 22nd. These stickers were from Hobby Lobby. Santa and the poinsettias. Um, this is another split week. I did obviously Christmas on this side and birthdays on this side. My birthday is December 27th. My dad's is the 28th. Um, 
and snowflake. Date covers are also from plan to plan. And if you're wondering what color nail polish I have on, or nail strips that I have on, these are Black Cherry Bonbon. They were a Hostess exclusive in December, but we have lots of other glittery nail strips available. And I will post my website link in the comment or in the description box so that you can go check it out if you aren't familiar with Color Street. I'll also include my email address, so if you have any um, questions or anything, um, you're welcome to email me. Actually, you can email me through um, the website. It's the same email address, so I will probably just put my website down there. You can email me through there if you have questions. Did a New Year's theme. This kit came from Imagine That by Lori. And all of my favorite sticker shops um, run sales regularly. Most of them are Etsy shops. Some of them have gone off into their to their own websites. Did a red and black theme. My um, fiance's birthday is January 7th and his favorite color is red. So I did a red theme for that week. Did a rose gold and pink spread this week. And if I would really work on my penmanship, my, my spreads would look so much better. But it is what it is right now. So I did a black and rose gold theme this week. These date covers came from Imagine That by Lori. I didn't look in the new planner, but I'm hoping that they put the, the holidays down at the bottom of the box so that you can use the date covers and it not cover up the holidays. This one I did a teal and silver theme, kind of snowflakes. Valentine theme. And these stickers came from Hobby Lobby. I believe they're Paper Studio. And another Valentine theme. This kit came from Imagine That by Lori. This is the Peach and Coral theme. St. Patrick's Month. This spread, um, I used a kit from Imagine That by Lori. This one was a Miss Maker theme. One of my favorite sticker lines. I loved the Miss Maker line. This kit was also from Imagine That by Lori. This one, I just kind of did a spring theme. We got to start counting down for vacation for when we went to Arizona. This was um, baseball opening day. We are definitely missing baseball this year. We are Cincinnati Reds fans. If you are a baseball fan, comment below with your favorite team. This is when I started using, I can't remember what they're called now, but the, um, the stickers that 
um, open up. Um, and I really like the look of this and I'd gotten away from it and I need to get back into doing it again. Um, it just, for me, since I don't care for my penmanship, it seems to make my spread a lot cleaner. And then I just put all my stickers and everything inside there and it, I just really like the way that looks. This was another rainbow theme. Another Miss Maker theme. This was just another bright colored theme. I, think I was just trying to go along with the, um, the vacation stickers. And we, it's a day we flew out. And since we went to Arizona, then I did a cactus theme. I loved Arizona. It was the first time I'd ever been out there. My fiance's daughters live out there. They actually grew up here, and this is where he's lived his whole life, is in Indiana. But um, his oldest daughter, when she went to college, um, she met her now husband, <coughs> excuse me, and he was from Arizona. So they moved um, out there and then my fiance's youngest daughter and her mom moved out there as well. I love the Simply Lovely sticker book. A ladybug theme and I did my own flip stickers all of these are that way like I said I really need to get back into that because I just love the way the clean look and I'm not sure why I got away from it but I definitely need to get back to it And this was for a, a local race here in town. I did another ladybug theme because my niece's birthday was May 21st and she loves ladybugs. And these I made my own flip stickers and then put a box sticker on top. I did the same thing with these. But I just, I like the way this looks so much better than having all the clutter. The baseball stickers are from Hobby Lobby. June 6th would have been my mom's birthday and June 7th was donut day so I did a donut theme and all of these are the flip stickers as well I did um, I did the florals here because of my mom she she was a big flower fan I'm I'm not into flowers a whole lot This one I did um, for Father's Day, did a home improvement spread, and this is one of my favorite spreads that I've done, and these are all the flip stickers as well. I just did lightweight cardstock and punched scrapbook paper for the fronts and then just added the stickers. And these stickers I believe I've had for a while. I may have picked them up at Hobby Lobby, but I don't think so. These um, all came in a package from Hobby Lobby. They are um, 
Paper Studio stickers. And this is another one from the Hobby Lobby Girl line. And these are also the flip stickers that I just put box stickers on top of. These are all flip stickers as well. This spread's kind of plain. I, I left some white space in this one, which I don't normally do. And I love these little date covers. They are from um, Imagine That by Lori. This kit came from Brianna and Nicole Designs. And these are all flip stickers as well. And I put the um, removable adhesive on here so that um, they would stay down for, for taking pictures and things. But And her box stickers don't quite fit, so I ended up using her glitter headers to cover up the difference. This is my oldest daughter's birthday and she loves volleyball. So I did a volleyball theme and these stickers are from Hobby Lobby. This week I decided to do a beach theme. I've not been to the beach in years. I'm not, um, I love looking at the water. I'm not big on getting in the water, not big on laying out in the sun, but I love the sunshine. It's an M&M spread, obviously. I printed this kit um, offline. It's a free kit to print. And I love M&M, guys. Yellow has always been my favorite. I'm not sure where the, these date covers are from. Maybe um, Plan to Plan. This one I just did bright colors. These are all the flip stickers as well. And if you go on my blog, I have pictures of um, all of them open so you can see what I've done on the inside. Did a back to school theme. This kit's from Brianna Nicole Designs. I didn't finish filling that out. That's my son and his wife's first anniversary, second anniversary. And these stickers, um, I got a silhouette cameo for Christmas in 2018. So I finally learned how to make stickers, so I made some of my own. I own stickers for personal use. I don't have an Etsy, Etsy shop. Maybe someday I will, but obviously can't have stickers like that in there. Another summer theme. Apple date covers for fall. This one I decided to do a fast food layout. I had gotten this washi tape from Imagine That by Lori. I think she was clearancing it out, I believe. I'm not, I don't think it's part of her regular stock anymore. And I had gotten a sticker book from Hobby Lobby on clearance that had a lot of these stickers in it. I think these are from the food sticker book from Happy Planner. Then this week was my son's birthday and he loves fishing. So I just, I did a fishing theme. These, I um, just did clip art off of, um, that I pulled up offline and cut them out. And I did buy um, fish stickers from Hobby Lobby. 
then these are um, the flip stickers as well that I just used scrapbook paper and punched with my box punch and laid on top then my youngest daughter's birthday is September 21st and she's my penguin girl so I did another penguin theme and again these are all flip stickers that I just punched um, scrapbook paper and added washi and and stickers too this one is from I believe the squad plans sticker book and these are those flip stickers that um, from Happy Planner So do you use the, the flip stickers like that in your spreads? Like I said, I've got to get back to doing that because I really like the, the clean look of that. Candy corn. I'm not a huge candy corn fan unless it's mixed with peanuts so that it tastes like a payday bar. These are more of the Happy Planner flip stickers. Oh, no, that's one that I did and put the boxes on top. Another fall theme. There are more flip stickers. And at some point I started using some that flipped from side from the side and not just the bottom. I think that's an, another homemade one that I did. And just put a sticker on top. This one I'd seen, I think it was Heather Kell that I got the idea from just doing the, the stickers on the bottom from. And as you can tell, I didn't use any flip stickers in this one and it just doesn't have the clean look that the other spreads had. These date covers came from, I believe, the Dates and Holidays sticker book from Happy Planner. This one, I did a birthday theme because we had all of the birthdays on November 2nd and 3rd. And we found out on Halloween that um, we were going to have a new grandbaby coming this June. I really like the soft pastels of this spread. This one was kind of, I think I just kind of went with a rose gold and medium color theme with this one. This one's my granddaughter's birthday and she um, loves horses but I didn't have any um, horse stickers so I went with this theme and I got these stickers from Hobby Lobby. There's quite a bit of white space in this one more than I usually have. Thanksgiving theme. These date covers also came from the same sticker book. I believe it was the dates and holidays. And this one, a pink and teal. And these are the, the flip stickers. All of these are. And a simple Christmas theme. I think all of these came out of the winter 
sticker book from Happy Planner. Same way with these. In December 22nd, which is also my grandson's birthday, we found out that the new baby is also a boy. This one, I did another split spread. Obviously Christmas on this side and birthdays again on this side. Twenty seventh was my birthday, so we took um, twenty seventh, twenty sixth, and twenty seventh off since we had Christmas off, and um, did a couple little road trips, and that was the end of that one. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through, and like I said, take a gander at my. At my, um, at my blog at indianainker.com and you can see all of my planner spreads out of, um, out of this planner and other planners as well. And um, most of them do have a list of the stickers and where I got them from. But if you have any questions, you're welcome to comment here or comment on my blog and I will be more than happy to help you. And um, thank you for watching and happy planning.